Mm-hmm. So the game is pretty so far. All the screenshots I've seen are you looking, you basically sitting in the sort of the Captain Picard position on a ship, um, going on some kind of long journey, maybe looking at anomalies through a view screen. Um, I'm not exactly sure what else there is to this game. Uh, I am brand new to it. I am, you know, uh, as with most of the games that I play on here, I have never played it at all before. Uh, so you guys get discovered along with me. I did, by the way, over the weekend, I played a ton of Mini Metro. That was the game I played um, on Friday. And on Friday, I had no idea what I was doing. It was kind of embarrassing at it, but I've gotten much better at it. I might actually try to twitch it again sometime at, uh, from home because... Uh, oh, explosion. Mini Metro is pretty awesome. Oh, maybe there's a story happening here. Oh, I should be listening to a cutscene. Holy crap. This looks bad. Oh, there's some, there's some bad guys. You know they're bad because they have red lasers. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Into the stars. Hmm. I have a very small window on my screen. I wonder if there's anything I can do about that. It's bigger over here. Yes, yeah, it's actually bigger in my in the exploit preview window. So let's do new mission. Oh, launch. Wait. Whoa! No! Wait! What did I just What did I just choose? No! Is, is there a way to back... Okay, there's a way to back out. Okay. New mission. Explorer mode. I gotta sit down to get closer to the screen. It's... it's what, Can wait, make it bigger? What, I don't know. Let's... Just so back I can't back out from this screen. I have to go deeper and then say, never mind, back out. And then I get this thing. It all started ten years ago. Okay, let's look at the options and see if I can get the resolution any higher for me. Full, full screen, on off. Uh, yeah, but I I don't always want that because I can't I can't manipulate uh. XSplit when when it's in full on full screen. So, but if I can get like this, like pretty close to full screen, that uh, not quite, not quite. That's a little too big. Um, what's the best one here? Maybe this. I think that'll make it at least legible. All right, so this is the fun, boring part that we'll cut out of the YouTube video. And me just figuring out the settings. Mmm. And eating soup. Um. Oh, the soup is so good. Mmm. Eating it so quickly. All right. Okay, so to, okay, so Chronotus is giving me some giving me some uh, Twitch advice to set your play. So I okay, I'm gonna type out into the stars and says click done I don't see the word done here I hit update and then it says please choose a supported game and so so I assumed that the update didn't work uh, if anybody wants to reload and tell me if Into the Stars is showing up as the game that I'm playing right now that'd be helpful though I'm not gonna you know force anyone to go through that you might have to watch another ad or something um, so I've, I've, I've claimed that I've updated it to say Into the Stars uh, instead of Into the Void uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, just uh, on the dashboard is where I'm updating it from, Chronotosis. Um, I'm on my own uh, dashboard, and it says, you know, game devs checking out Into the Stars as my title to this broadcast, and then playing Into the Stars is my option here. I could also say I'm not playing Into the Stars, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. Uh, <laughs> if you had the Twitch title itself... Oh, yeah, now, the Twitch... Title. Oh wait! Now it says I'm. It thinks I'm playing Mini Metro. What the crap? Into the stars is what I am playing. Is it defaulting to the last game that you played? Uh, that, that I successfully played? I guess maybe so. I don't know. Interesting. Let's play. Oh, okay. So Fugitive Games is in here. Hey, Fugitive Games. I guess I should start playing your game then. Uh, so Fugitive Games is in here, and they're saying that uh, that yeah, there's just a weird little bug with Twitch. They're trying to work it out now. So I appreciate you guys uh, giving it the attention. And um, in the meantime, uh, yeah, I should actually play your game. So I have not played your game before, uh, Fugitive. I'm discovering it for the very first time. So hopefully, uh, you know, my my own newbiness doesn't. Yeah, you know, does, does it show the game poorly? I've had that experience before where I've done kind of a bad job of showing somebody's game and I felt kind of guilty about it because I just didn't understand what was going on. Um, 
But this game, the subject matter of this game fascinates me. I mean, you know, when we talk, we're we're uh, twitching from Undead Labs over here, and when we talk about you know future games to work on, one of my favorite ideas to suggest is long-term space travel, as uh, you know, because it brings up a lot of the same you know questions of survival and community building that you have in uh, you know in the games that we make, uh, but uh, but in a completely different setting, completely different challenges. So I'm interested in seeing how it works here. So. Explore mode difficulty has no threat level increase when spending time in sectors. Only combat you'll encounter is direct There's one correct control. answer here, by the way. Uh, what? Normal? Pursuit. Pursuit. <laughs> that sounds exciting. I guess that's true. Um, I, let's go Let's go mid-range. Just mid-range on everything. Just have sort of the basic experience. So I could be Sophia Davis, I guess. Or oh, I, I can rename them here. Is that, is that how it works? So let's... Um, Okay, so what do we do here? Oh, I can, oh, I've got a bunch of different people I can choose from. They've all got different abilities, and we need to have, a, have six crew members. And so I guess I probably want a range of different skills, right? Like maybe the best commander and the best, uh, you know, other stuff. So there's Bob Smith and Susan. Okay, let's enlist Susan Thomas as our hopeful commander. Then... Mung, I don't know what Mung is. Oh, I'm sorting by Mung now. Uh, so Marcus, oh, we gotta have a guy named Marcus on our team. Um, Ang, Ang. I'll so, be engineering. Tessa Clark. MNG management. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But what would be different between that and command? Mm -hmm. Maybe this is commode. Maybe this is for the janitor. That's probably not true. Uh, pilot, I imagine. Plit is probably yeah, sure, pilot. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, 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 there's a question mark here. Oh, piloting. There we go. Okay, what is this? Mining. All right, mining. That's different than managing. Command, engineering, piloting. So let's grab let's grab the best pilot. Is medical? I assume yes, medical. I'm sorry, Ian. You can't join us because you're not eating soup. Yeah, this is this is a soup only room, Ian. I'll sit over at this other chair. <laughs> <track. laughs> so Fugitive Games is actually in here uh, helping us out, and uh, so I so I really appreciate them, them showing up. Uh, and okay, so step out. We're going to step out into the void. Yeah, into the stars. Into the stars. That's right. Not into the void, because that would be the other game I was lying and pretending we were playing. Hmm. You know, I don't really know if there's a great place to start the past broadcast of this at the highlight that I post. We just sort of wandered uncomfortably into the game. Welcome to Into the Stars. I think that was exactly what we should have done. All right. We managed to put some distance between us and the scorn, but our warp core we'll is completely destroyed. Yeah, if only I had any editing equipment or post. Um, thankfully, we salvaged some parts. In case you need repairs, we've got some spare parts in engineering. Our resources are draining fast, Captain. I advise you stop at the planet up ahead and explore it for as much resources as possible. The more planets we explore, the higher our chances are for survival. Would you like to see an overview of the ship's controls before we start? Yes, let's see that. Okay. Rudder left. Pitch nose down, pitch nose up. Okay, so steering. And uh, pause game, space bar. Camera controls. Between captain's chair and external camera. Okay, that's the C button. Left, right click. Hold and rotate in free look camera. Interact on prompt with the F key. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Actually. Shifting oh, controls control. seem important. Uh, yes, that is important. Thank you for catching that. Goal. Titus. Oh, this is kind of FTL-ish, it looks like. We're trying to get from from are we from here getting down to there? I guess. No. Uh, I'm guessing start and goal. Oh oh, is it start? The, I don't. I didn't know if that was the heading for the text or if it was. Mm hmm. Mm, that makes sense. So, yeah, it's got a dot in it. That probably means this where we are. Um, yeah, playing your goals to travel to Titus Nova from the start point. We have enough resources to make it there initially. We should explore the system for valuable resources and stuff. All right, awesome. So we're a public morale is high. Hmm. Do, do, do. Okay, so we can toggle the camera. So, check me out here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so okay, I need to accelerate. Do I just tap it or I hold can it? Can I remember which one's pitch and which one's yaw? Pitch is this way, and yaw is that way. All right. So I'm increasing my speed quite a bit, and we're going to explore you're kind a planet. Of flying, yeah, you're flying straight at that planet, as long as that's yeah. what you intend. Uh, yeah, I think I, I'm going to try to, you know, fly kind of sidelong at it, like try to skim it a little bit. I assume once I get close enough, 
we'll be able to mine it. Should I have been going through these rings? That feels like something a fancy captain like me would do. Not, not on a first time drive. Uh, oh, hey, uh, Fugitive Games are from Seattle too, so uh, they're, they're probably dealing with some of the same weather problems we are today. Yeah, so my assumption is that by getting close enough to this planet, I will get an F key option that will let me explore it. What other things do I know about myself here? So we got 10,000 civilians we're trying to save. Yeah, 45 days of oxygen, 45 days of food. That's where the cannibalism comes in. Um, map, resources, engineering, crew. So were we... Oh, so here we are in engineering. Whoa, boy. Whoa, this is fancy. And I can still steer the ship. No matter what I'm doing, I still have control over the ship, which is kind of nice. So I've got a bunch of repair stuff here, I guess. It looks like... That nothing is telling me that it's injured, so... As it should be. Yes. And I don't know what most of this is. Oh, press F to interact. F! Uh-oh, is it the Romulus? No. Okay, so pretty deployment. Instead of shuttle team down, it costs 50. And... I can send a mining rig down. Or I can send resource probe down. Hmm. I'm sure it's safe. This blue hue is a high amount of methane in the atmosphere. Rich in resources. It has everything we everything we need. So, wait. I don't know which of these I want to send. Uh, there's no little question marks by them. Um, I think we should probably send an away team down with a bunch of red shirts. Fine. Uh, but it costs less. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe because it's not a mining rig, they can't... Hmm. Okay, let's send a resources probe. Jeffrey? Yes. Can I recommend that it would be more Star trek -y if you sent down, like, the first and second in command and the only doctor? <laughs> yes. Yes, you can recommend that. Lead doctor. Oh, oh so Hello, I, do, I, I, do ha I do have to assign She's a crew a to this. She's a medic. She's not a doctor. I'm sure there are the so, doctors. Okay, where, okay, who is my best pilot? Let's send the best pilot. Do I? Okay. So they're going to pilot it down to the surface, and we're going to launch. Chance of success, 88%. Okay. What happens on Wait, no, the how come how come it's called a pro if I had to put a pilot in it, I don't think I think I think of probes as being drones. It was successful, Captain. Oh, so we can take stuff back. Okay. So Yeah, all of it. I don't think we I don't know, can we do all of it? Let's see. Is that does well, that just it showing all? ship ka -chunk, ka -chunk, capacity ka -chunk, there? Ka -chunk. Okay, yeah, so. we can get all of it. Sweet. Everything that we can take. Hmm. So well, that was pretty. Time nice. to exploit. Let's uh, let's mine it now. Let's see how, how that how different that is. Your first dibs on this planet. Oh, planet a flag so or something. Okay, who's my mining person? This is my mining person. So they go. You're my pilot. You go. Let's go. Launch. Chances is ninety three. They're getting even better at flying to this planet. That is that is like hundred percent guaranteed. Pretty much. Uh oh. Wait. Is this good or bad? It's exciting. We're actually seeing them here. Oh oh. It was successful. It was successful. Uh, well, this is totally different now. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what's going on? What am I, what am I doing? Am I... Oh, 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 I'm trying to mine. <laughs> nice! Nice! Are there certain things that you want and others that you don't? I don't know what I want. I'm sure there are things that I want and things that I don't. But oh, no. Oh, no! You didn't want those things. I didn't want those things at all. Oh, okay, wait. I can only have so much room to actually take stuff You don't want carbon dioxide. See, we're generating that. Go away, carbon dioxide. Uh, we want BMO. I don't know what this is. Uh, manganese. Manganese? Is this manganese or magnesium? Either one. It's ah, good. I don't know. Um, and BMO. All right, there we go. I don't know what, what BM is. You know what? I think we're probably, my, our crew is probably generating BM. Just, just, you know, just just like CO2 is a byproduct of us using our oxygen, BM is the byproduct of us using our, our food. Um, I was really hoping you weren't going to belabor <laughs> that joke. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's, that's, I had to explain the whole thing. Perhaps okay. you need more belaborment. Anyway, yes, belabor, belaborment is what that is. All right, so, and then let's let's just see what happens when we send on the shuttle team. Yeah. Oh, well, lots of people. Come on, I can send lots of people salt monster. Down. So, Commander goes down. Pilot, they're even getting better and better at what piloting. What are you looking for? And I'm looking for Salt Monster. Evade. Something, some kind of a evasion thing? I don't know. Maybe Frank Gorshin? Probably the robot. All right, I'm going to eat my we'll soup while we're going down. Mmm. Mmm. 
Man, if this was Nom Nom Galaxy, we'd be mining it for soup. Um, mm. Soup planet. Mm. Well, oh, well, there's refugees. We can dig deep. Get a module. I think we got enough We're people. We're here for resources. We're here for resources. Yeah, we got enough people. You guys can, you know, make a thriving space colony down here. Um, subterranean shelter reward item? You want an item or a module? Module feels like it'll teach me more about the systems of the sure, game. We'll get not? module. Dig deep. There are ruins in the southern polar region and an abandoned archaeological dig. Well, that kind of Local did. lore tells of a hidden ancient technology that says this place is cursed. Superstitious nonsense. Explore the dig site and report. It's worth investigating. Report. Explore the site carefully. Ancient tech could be useful. Get in there and find it. That one. Uh, or, or superstitious Are these nonsense. all the same? Are these Probably, all the same? Pretty much. Okay. Well, then, let's do this one. None of them are leave it alone. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh. Fail! No! Oh, a Susan Thomas like, damage! Oh, bacteria! What? To, what bacteria she, we, damage? We, we found bacteria and it infected her. It oh. said that in the, in the words. Oh, it I used its words. I don't read words. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so Fugitive Games. So uh, only the, uh, the, the person who's talked to us from Fugitive Games is actually from Seattle. Everybody else is in California. Um, that's fine. Our, our community manager actually lives like 3,000 miles away from the rest of us, so, you know. Okay, so let's not sound down these injured people. Let's uh, send down this sort of uh, crappy commander and middling pilot and random other person. There we go. Let's try this again. I think we need you to know, the definition of brilliance is trying the same thing and expecting a different result. Sulfur pool, yes. Okay, we have different choices now. Teeming with bacterial life. Ah, that sounds great. That the bacterial life was really good for us yeah. last time. Um, oh, let's see. <laughs> and there are aliens, aliens camped can, around it. Sift through the camp remains. Take samples from the pool. Uh, They're probably all poisoned by the sulfur pool. So let, no, let, no. Let's sift no through the valuables. No risk. Boredom set in. Uh, well, where did it say? I didn't even see where it said something. Oh, the, there's words over there. Oh, up here. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm, 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 there's I'm, a story. There's I'm, a story that's let's, emerging here over time. I think I'm killing my people. You so can go back and maybe read it. Uh, can I go back? Where's that? Oh, back? No, I think it's backing out of the planet. Uh, space dysentery. Public health has decreased. You got space dysentery. Is that what that said? Seriously, I missed it. Holy crap, that sounds amazing. Space dysentery is the best dysentery. Um, so the thing I don't know is... Oh, oh, I see. Okay, so I've got a map here that's showing my progress through the universe. Hello, Calvin. Yeah, Chronotosis, did, were, you, were you here when we played Nom Nom Galaxy? Because that game is crazy. And it's basically, yeah, it's all about soup mining. You don't use a ladle. You, you mine for ingredients, and then you manufacture soup, and you build uh, conveyor belts to move the soup around. So, okay, yeah, so I guess... Okay, so and how... Okay, so my oxygen is depleting relatively quickly, and I'm just seeing a rough representation of the sectors that I had to pass through. So I assumed it was just going to be, like, discreetly hopping from sector to sector, but I'm actually smoothly moving through them. Uh, trying not to hit floating asteroids... Go faster. Nope. I actually don't think I can. Oh. Can't go any faster. This is the speed. We're going at the speed of space. Okay, yeah. So I can roll. Which I think actually might be steering me just slightly. And then I can, I can yaw. Yaw. Okay. Ships on the map are other arcs. Uh, says fugitive, and I don't know. So, does this thing look like? Is that like another ship right there? Oh wait, something. We should, we should ram it. We should, yeah, we should ram it. We should ram. What that planet? Whatever. Okay. Oh, this right here. True. Okay. Actually, I got an F to interact. I think I might be interacting with the planet. Or the whoa! Wait, what's this big red fiery thing? That would be. Uh, they call those stars. Star. I get, I didn't see a star before though. That's weird. They might call it sun. 
This moon orbits Aurelius. It's only our star. Can so. detect microbial life forms else similar to algae, so. and resources nope. are plentiful, but it lacks CO2. We, call it. we, we dibbed it. Yep. Well, dibs let's. On, uh, dibs on calling what, your what giant. If, what if somebody else did the resource we probe? Burning ball of I mean, there was hydrogen a lot turning of, into helium. A lot of time that went so. by before anybody here dibbed it. Hmm. Probe launch. Launch it. 92%. That's ba yeah, that's guaranteed success. Hmm. If it failed, the only excuse would be that something wrong hmm. happened in the algorithm. The probe flight successful, Captain. Oh, well, yeah, let's... We need more of the, ma the magnesium. Grab some crap. Yeah, yeah. get more magnesium. The probe costs us magnesium, so clearly it needs to bring some back. And it's heat. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay we're going to do some mining now. I support this... Policy. Mining, mining says my best I've had miner. Of these layabout probes. Okay. All the Are you ready to drill? Take, take. That's right. We need more maker probes. Yeah. We built this. Probes. Okay. Fugitive suggests that we should actually be using our map a lot more. So we're gonna. We're, okay. Here we go. Uh, ready to drill? Uh, okay. Let's get some. Oh. So we gotta look way ahead and see what I can actually. Wait, you, what? You didn't look far enough ahead. I thought or I. Or you looked too far. I ahead. think I just, I just, you yeah, crashed. nudged something that I thought that crashed I. The probe. No, oh, that wasn't enough stuff. You're terrible at probe. Oh, I really am. That well, was mining. That was mining. Probe, I'm fine at because probe is automatic. Uh, should we send some folks down? Yeah. So uh, you're good at the things that you don't actually participate in. Yes. Yes. Those are the things I'm the best at. All right, let's head down. Hmm. Uh, Petrified Colossus. That sounds pretty good. He notes ships on the map or other arcs. Yeah. Reaching them can be helpful. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do right then when I suddenly saw an F to interact. I was like, oh, let's interact with a random thing, and it turns out to be a big flaming sun. Uh, so, okay, see so here. Captain? Captain. There's an ancient organic form here that appears to be petrified. It's massive and emitting large amounts of methane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still back on, you know, I, I, sh I think I should explain that joke in detail. Um, permission to investigate further. Use lasers to cut off a sample and examine it with your scanners. Leave it be and search your surroundings for anything we can use. Use your hand tools to break lasers. it. Lasers. Lasers. Most Definitely dangerous. zap the giant with lasers. Yeah. What could go wrong? They could fire down. Success! We cut off a small sample, but our scanners can't determine its composition. We'll bring it back to the ship for further analysis. <laughs> okay, that, nothing could go wrong. It's definitely not the thing. Okay, so, new module found. The new one, it's unknown, and the mining cost is, seems cheaper and stuff. We replace your current module with this new one? Sure. Yeah. Let's totally do that. What if the twist in the Hateful Eight had been that it was actually a thing? I would have loved that. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Rather than just being about. an homage to the thing. Mm. Right. All right. Sorry, spoiler alert. I have not watched the Hateful, Hateful Eight. Eight does not end with a shape-shifting monster who turns into Wilford Brimley and then bites some guy's hands off. Was that Wilford Brimley's hands that got bitten off? Um, or was it a dude from L.A. Law? The guy from L.A. Law got his hands bitten off. Right. Wilford Brimley just gets locked in the shed. Right. I didn't actually realize you guys God, were making a direct reference to the thing. The thing is so good. I need to, to watch thing. that movie again. I thought you were just using the word thing in the sentence, like, normally. Okay, map. Let's look at our map. Oh, oh there's, what? like, oh, chips and things. And can I, can I zoom in? Uh, Kranatosis is saying that he bought a Gundam as well as the tools I suggested, and he's been building it. Oh, interesting. That's awesome. Create waypoint. I'm still working. So I could head all the way over here, but so there's, a ship, the close to, there's a ship yeah. close to me. Little by little. So I should try to find place. that ship. Oh, wait, not that. What do I want? I want this. Okay, so I'm still going to keep heading towards that ship, except there's a big sun. So... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, threat level orange. Oh, she... I'm having trouble figuring out the relationship 
between what I'm seeing on this map and what I'm seeing in the world, because I do not see this giant son of death to my right on this map. So I don't know, I don't know what the deal is there. You notice uh, Chronotos is commenting on Gundam? Yes. All right. The body's quite Oh, nice. Uh, if Jeffrey doesn't mind too much me turning this into Oh, yeah, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, make it robot chat. That's fine. Uh, what kit did you buy? Mm. I like to talk about robots. Fugitive Games, your game developers in Seattle. Sometimes uh, we build robots over at the Indies Workshop in Soto. We can come to that. That made that more relevant to people besides just me and <laughs> Chronotosis. He said it looks like the planet. So it looked like there was a, a ship on the map somewhere near me, but I don't see. Unless, was it just. Maybe it's cloaked. Maybe it's cloaked. So I'm going to quickly. Etch oh, wait. No, I think I can. I can, can I turn around? No, I, th I thought that was a way for me to like ro free rotate the camera. But I thought it was like holding down both, both one, mouse one, buttons. One button. There's one button at a time to nice. turn the direction, I think. Uh, no, I don't think it's either one or both. Maybe it's... Oh, it's center. Apparently. Whoa! Um, You're totally flying up. Oh, I have no idea what it's trying to make me do here. Holy crap. Okay, there's something behind me. Uh, Fugitive, if you ever make it out, let me know. Uh, they've always been a lot of fun. I think the next one is the 27th. I don't know what this signal is here, but it seems bad. It seems blinking like I red don't lights. want this. Yeah, blinking red lights are usually bad. So it looked like with the map, I could put a waypoint on a sector but not really on a specific item. Like, I could create a waypoint there, and then what would that, what would that do? Threat level red. I, do, I don't even know how. Oh, no, wait, oh, what? Also, oh, the longer I spend in the same sector, gotcha. The scorn. Okay, so toughness. Shields to full. I have no idea who should Atomic do what. Batteries job. to power. So it's medical. This that person's actually Marcus. You actually go here. No, what? No, there. And you go here. You go here, and confirm. So how do we play this? Um. That's shields. Sign battle stations. You did that. Map. Fire your lasers. Right? Is that what I do? You fire? No? Wait, choose, choose a, a free frequency for say. Uh, wow, type is really small. Yeah, it's really hard to read this. I have to like zoom, like lean in really hard. Nice. Offset your weapon frequency color from the enemy shield Pausing color. the game is going to be extremely important. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, crap. I just unpaused it. Oh, you know, okay. Okay, no. Now it's, now paused. it's paused. The pause is crazy looking. Um, okay, so... So you fire your yellow lasers at him? Is that... Oh, is it charging up right here? You can unpause and repause real quick to see if that meter fills. Yep. Yes. Okay, so this person can fire. So let's fire at their weapons. Fire. Fire. Zap. Oh, they, something happened. Um, this guy's ready too. So Fugitive mentions that Chris has been telling him to come to the Gundam meetup, the Gunpla meetup. That's awesome. And, uh,. Chronotosis was saying that uh, she'd link a picture of the kit she's building, but I wouldn't be able to pull it up. The good news is, I'm building the Gundam Barbados right now. I'm just building uh, the 1 1 44th scale one, so it's just a smaller okay. version of the same I'm kit. I'm not you're really doing. learning how to do this well. Oh, wait, that's. 
this guy. Okay, this guy is his shield. Oh, the shield. Are the shields all yellow? Or and the and their weapons are these colors? Is that what this is? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm confused. Okay. Uh, okay, so I think I needed to be hitting deflect or evade as these things are firing. There's okay. a lot of real time stuff. Okay, so we just made, knocked his weapons out. Oh wait, no, oh wait, are they yellow? I think their shields are blue now. Crew has taken damage. I think. Yeah, of course they have. You played Space Team? I have played Space Team. This makes you want to play that. Space Team is incredible. Oh, crap. Yeah, okay, yes. I am thinking about a lot of stuff at the same time. Uh, yeah, I am not doing well at this. Um. Use a different weapon color from whatever their current shield color is. Oh, a different weapon. Of course, right. That makes sense. So I'm screwing up like crazy. And then you probably want to be deflecting the same laser that yeah, they're about to yeah, fire. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think you're right. Well, they, that's not ready yet. And then we can evade. That was well done. Okay, so we want to be using different colored lasers and things. Okay, I'm not. I civilians have been lost. Yeah, because I'm just miserable at this. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I, oh, oh I lost. I, I lost a, an entire stations. person. Oh, Mary Hill has died. Uh, and Jessica Clark's almost oh, dead. You're, you're. This may be a short game. Yeah, no, I'm not. I am not playing this appropriately. I. Oh wait, no, no, no. I don't, oh wait, I don't even have a person there. I'm just. I'm a disaster. I think the Klingons have got you here. They're called the Scorn. They're the Scorn. Get it right. Whatever. Andy can only keep one set of sci-fi concepts in his head. Like if it's not. Star Trek, it's extremely disorienting to him. Oh, okay. wow. This is... I uh, recommend sending all people to uh, lifeboats and beginning the self-destruct sequence, Captain. Which I can't find. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Send the uh, sound general stations uh, evacuation order thirty one. Yes. So there's just there's just a lot going on at once, and even when I'm pausing, I just still feel overwhelmed. Fire! I'm just missing like crazy. Can't evade yet. Who's taking damage? Oh, you've got almost nothing left. Going down with the ship. Pretty much. Oh, I've got no people oh. left. So actually, I, all I can do is sit here and get killed now. Pretty sure. Uh, and you're done. Yeah, I'm done. So I wonder how long it's gonna, I think I should eat some soup while it just kills everyone. Hmm. The thing that's weird, I've been noticing this a lot, playing Super Hot and playing um, Mini Metro, like a bunch of games where it's like possible and technically I should have all the time in the world to think through what I'm doing, I still get really, really, in, like, my brain is still overwhelmed. It's like, like I really am I'm making bad decisions and not thinking everything through, even though I have all the time in the world to make decisions. Oh. And I'm not, I'm not sure, like, if that's, like, a personality flaw in me or in the species. I like to imagine it's species and that I'm not especially stupid. Um, Way to fail all mankind, Jeffrey. I think I did just fail all mankind. Yep. Huh. So, uh, Fugitive Games notes that was apparently a pretty tough matchup for your first fight. Yeah, Chronotos is like the last of the human races on that ship. I'm pretty sure it was. That was basically the Battlestar Galactica scenario, and I just lost humanity. So, let's go, Explorer. Um, 
<laughs> balanced still. Yeah. Mm. Jeff wiped out the human race. Yep. He's getting everybody killed. So again, let's uh, just go for see, somebody who maxes out do, each do, skill. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And save the human Shit race. Out. My soup is not hot anymore. Well, that's a pretty you positive review it. of the game. You hotted it like four Yeah, that's true. Ago. The game was good enough that your soup went cold before you could get back to it. Yep. Mm. So we have all, no warp core. Oh, we mentioned it doesn't other. That seems bad. I think it just means we got a limp. Yeah, I think that we're always limping. Uh, I think I remember the controls. Okay, so starting here, going there, proceed. Public morale is high. They must not have heard about your previous efforts. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that wasn't a, a parallel remember, universe. Nobody was able to report on it. They're all dead. <laughs> okay, so. So it feels like it's basically the same world, as far as I can tell. I mean, I'm still, I've still got a big blue planet in front of me. You gonna go mine? Yep, I'm gonna go mine. We need to master the mining. Yeah, cl yeah, cl yeah. I've got, I've got some problems with that, mining. Plus, it seems to be where the the big money is. So mining, I don't think it's actually anything like Mr. Driller. I mean, I haven't played it, I've just watched you play it. Yeah. But the fact that it makes me think about Mr. Driller, I've having I've, that game pop into my head makes I've me happy. I've not played Mr. Driller. I don't know what it is. Well, the problem with Mr. Driller, Jeffrey, is that the game peaked on the GameCube-only drill land. Uh, and all releases since then have been pretty lackluster. <laughs> so it's hard for me to recommend a Mr. Driller for you to check out. I need oh, to... When I said GameCube only, I should have said Japan only, GameCube only, Drill Land. Okay, so we can interact with this planet. So it was narrow, God, is what you're so, saying. It's so good, though. Okay, well, let's probe it. That is, by the way, the most tipster thing you've said in at least the last week, if not a month. <laughs> this thing that none of you have ever played and that came out when some of you weren't alive and that none of you know about, it's the coolest thing ever. It's, it's really good, though. I'm not saying you're wrong. But yeah, it's... But I'm also pointing out that none of us can really call you on it. So my return looks could, a lot I could smaller be dead this wrong time and no one would know. But the amount of resources I can grab per, per mission is significantly lower this time out. I wonder if I've just got random components on my ship that... You know, I can't quite... It, it, yeah, I, just, I wonder if there's random damage or random components or something that makes it so each ship that I go out with is a little bit different. So hey, if Jeffrey. you just click on it, it seems like it assigns somebody. Jeffrey, hmm? did you know that Hori Sasumu, the main character of Mr. Driller, is Dig Dug's son? It's true. That sounds true. It has a ring of truth. His mom is the lady in the yellow spacesuit from the game Baraduke. Is, are these games all actually related, or is it like are they making references to other people's games? This, no, these are all Namco games, and when they made the Mr. Driller series, they were like, yeah. We're gonna say his parents are these classic characters. Damn yeah, man, colorful blocks and you're going down. It's you don't actually play it like Mr. Driller, but I feel, so I felt like I missed that that bad thing, but apparently I hit the bad thing. I'm trying this again. If you're doing this again, I will figure this out. Alright. Some pilot. Miner. Let's go. Chronotosis is enjoying the random trivia. Good. And Taylor's adding this game to his wish list. So, hey! Hey, Fugitive! We got a sale. We got a sale. Or a, pros a prospective sta sale. Yeah. We probably um, got a sale for the next Steam Steam sale. Okay, so I'm just going to, like, desperately avoid anything red. Anything even slightly red. Oh, yeah, those red, red boxes or... don't look like your friends. Yeah, no, and I keep... Like, thinking, oh, I'll dodge that one, and then I think I have dodged it, and then I have not dodged it. Okay. Good catch on that nitrogen. Carbon dioxide. Yeah, 
His feet are huge for the scale. So of suddenly, this is way easier. <laughs> now oh. that you're oh, and now that I don't have any room to carry anything back. You know what I think we should do? I think we should make this a wash by bringing back the exact thing that we paid to do it. Um, I'll call something out on this kit's design. <laughs> the foot length. That's, so this piece is the whole body. The foot length is is, gr is greater than the entire torso. Wow, it's ridiculous. It's for balance. You want a low center of gravity. It's very low in this case. Okay, commander. Commander, that's you. Medic. Medic is you. Go. Jeffrey, do you mind if I start playing some of the Mr. Driller soundtrack out of my phone while you play the mining game? Will that get muted by Twitch? Yes. Will it? Everything will get muted oh, by man. Twitch. Ooh, okay, so should we do Strange Soundwave, Metazozoic Jungle, or Playing God? Depends on which season of Star Trek we're it's, emulating. Here. <laughs> it seems like if we're Kirk, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard to avoid playing God if that's one of your options. Pose peace on both sides. That's, that's the premise of that episode where he like moves in with a Native American community and his <laughs> wife gets murdered and he's like, eh. So two show off our tech. Show off our tech. Well, two pre spacefaring tribes in this world have been war for centuries. Both have valuable trade goods, but neither will trade until the uh, conflict is settled. And pose peace on, peace on both sides with military force. Act as mediators and broker peace. Show off our tech and pretend we're gods. I've heard nothing about any prime directive in this game. Yes. So. Yeah. And also, if there was a prime directive, I would I would be the first one to say to violate it. Pragmatism. Anyway. Pragmatism yeah. wins. The prime directive is about the stupidest moral standard ever created oh, in any story. Oh, we failed. Another tribe believed our story. Neither tribe. Oh. Really? What did they think we were? Kill them all. <laughs> Come on. Demons. They might have thought we were. Oh, they might have thought we were demons. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna go. We're gonna go down there. Um, but yeah, seriously, the prime directive is about the most racist thing in the entire world. It's just it's a it's it's a plot by racists to keep other races down. So that's all it exists to do. The Federation is a seething pit of racists. Not, you know not why? to let them develop at their own pace. You know why, Jeffrey? To, to treat them, to, to, to infantilize them. To, to basically say, oh no, you know, you're not our equal, you're not, we're not sentient equals who can share technology with each other and help each other. It's like, oh, you're these pitiful little primitive people that we're gonna watch you like you're in a zoo until so, you've proven yourselves. Mm. What's the alternative though? Like cargo cults and like, no. You know, it, it, it invite, you know, telling people, you know, telling other sentients about galactic society and, and inviting them in and treating them like equals. I'm going to just say the words cultural imperialism and act like that's an argument. Well, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure that like people in the distant, in, in, in like the, the, ne the distant reaches of, of, of Guinea and Central Australia and Africa appreciate vaccines. I'm, think, I'm pretty sure they're glad that vaccines so, eventually came. Now, a bunch of bad stuff came with the vaccines, but if you don't do the bad stuff, I think they still want the vaccines, right? You know? Like, if you can overcome the bad stuff, that doesn't mean you need to say, oh, well, we'll never touch another society again. You can probably tell the difference between the good things you can offer and the bad things and offer them some good things and just treat them like other people. Let them decide how much of your culture that they want to inculcate themselves with. So I think something you should keep in mind is that uh, <clears throat> that might be your assumption, but you've never checked. And Star Trek checked, and it went real bad. That's part of the premise of the show, is that they, they didn't used to have a prime directive, and they would just be like, hey, you, here's sp space travel. And then they were like, oh, no, we have to stop doing that. It's a terrible, it's a disaster. Look, what, what happened? Um, there, there's a notion of cultural maturity. Like, if somebody showed up right now and handed, handed humans warp flight, we'd run around space doing stupid shit and causing problems. If you wait until the culture gets its shit together to create warp flight on their own, they have to have but enough that, of a level of stability. But isn't the first thing actually what happened? That we invented warp flight? I guess we technically sort of invented warp flight, and then the Vulcans showed up. Yes. Right, yeah. That's, that was, that's part See, of the argument. I'm, vi I'm violating the Prime Directive to try to save some people from a plague. Look, I'm successful. Which is, which is like, lives were saved. Dude, that's like, that happens like a billion times in every series. What we're going to do is we're going to do plastic surgery on Riker again. 
We got some things. I'm not sure what they are. Yeah, but anyway, so, okay, so maybe warp flight is not the first thing you give someone, but I feel like you still, you know, you don't necessarily give them the power to destroy planets or things like that just right out of the gate. Sure. But it seems like, but the, the, the debates are never about that. It's never about, like, you know, oh, wait, the Prime Directive says we shouldn't give these people nuclear arms and, you know, uh, the ability to teleport the planet busters onto other people's planets. We, you know, that, that's never what the, the, the conflict is. The conflict is, should we save the lives of an entire society from, a, from an incoming something that we can easily solve with our technology? But, I don't know, the Prime Directive. I'm like, no, jerks. <laughs> Who cares? I mean, just, yeah. Have some, have some, you know, some, be, be, be careful with certain things that are destructive, but otherwise treat sentience like sentience. That's my position. Uh, on my, you know, but I'm not in the Star Trek universe, so I don't get it's very wishy-washy. Uh, yeah, I feel like an awful you lot of captains. It. Yeah, I wish you would state it. A <laughs> well, these, okay, and also we've got, we've got like, uh, you know, like instant, you got instant, instant cross-galaxy communication. Uh, you don't need to trust a lot of captains. You can just, you can, you know have ambassadors and other people whose job it is to make these decisions, political leaders who, you know, it's, it's their job to make these determinations. The fact that they're not all Bajorans or some other empathetic race that can go down and be like, shit's turning bad, we have to leave. Like, why are there any ships without a dozen different people with superpowers on them? <laughs> yeah, seriously. You only need one. You need one token person with superpowers, and there's the racism again. Star Trek is a profoundly racist show. Whoa, oh, Taylor's making political political commentary. <laughs> okay, so okay, so if it's shiny, that means that there's radiation, I guess. So maybe I need some special shielding or something to avoid the radiation. I don't know. I'm gonna go away from this thing that looks shiny that started giving me radiation stuff. Might want to check out your crew tab. Is that, is, okay, crew well, tab? There's a little exclamation point on it. Hmm. Oh, I can put people in sick bay. That's cool. Pilot Pilot training? Slums have been appearing in the civilian quarters causing a spread in bacteria. So can I like assign her yeah, to that problem? Yeah, you just did. Oh, and I can train this guy who's a crappy pilot? Awesome. Oh, political scandal, what? Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh, it's, it's all Taylor's fault for making that Trump comment. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, Trump, you, I mean, not Trump. Uh, Taylor, you scandalized everyone. Okay, I keep... All hail Drumpf. <laughs> Drumpf. <clears throat> I don't think that that Drumpf thing had any impact at all, but it was really funny. I think the core premise that... Part of why he succeeds. I, I, maybe we don't want it. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, yeah not maybe true. not. Maybe not. We just all agree that John Oliver's really funny. Yeah, John yes. Oliver's really hilarious. Donald Trump lost money running a casino. Come on. Like, everybody's excited about this guy's business acumen. He lost money running a casino. <laughs> yeah, and that is where the political commentary will end. The end. And this is from a guy from Reno. He knows. <laughs> they make yeah. money. It's what they do. I am curious, though, just as, as a point of... Uh, Information. Oh, I just caught that you, you, you guys. Okay, anyway, sorry. Uh, I'm curious, Taylor. Uh, you're from England. Are like how much of like American political news is bleeding over there? Because you know, over here, it's all anyone talks about. Like, like all anyone talks about. It's all we're allowed. To is talk the election about. for this it's, entire it's year? It's just the election. God, the the sanity that they have, where it's just like the election season is this long. So nice. Oh, oh, just the fact that England limits it? Yeah. England like, aggressively limits how long you're allowed to advertise. Engineer training points. available. Public morale is low. Oh, no. Captain. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do about that. Blue tab. There you go. See here. Oh, look, oh, 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 we can solve the political scandal. Somebody with command. Hey, you. You're a good commander. Go command the heck out of that. Engineering and, training. Oh, could train somebody in engineering? Well, I guess we'll take somebody who's already good at it, yeah. make it better. Min maxing for the win. So how do I get out of this screen without hitting the escape button and then bringing up the options menu? Not sure. 
Okay, so let's. Okay, there's so Taylor the mentions. I'm looking for. It's not much. It gets a couple minutes each news show. Like, it's oh, worth noting okay, that we here's what's barely going on in America. report on. Like, if you just watch the news in America, we barely report the prime minister elections over there. Oh yeah, you know, like just. I had to read uh, Facebook feeds from friends in Canada to find out anything about like Justin Trudeau when he was elected. Yeah. Uh, or we, we do, do not. Do you call talk. it elected when it's a prime minister? Is it selected? Is it? They're elected from within the body, right? Yeah, like the, I think it's. I think you still go with elected. Because I mean, within the within the party, you can certainly just avoid the thing entirely and say when he became became prime, prime minister. minister. <laughs> just to betray my ignorance about other other countries' uh, government systems. Um, But yeah, no, it's like I had I had to look at actual Canadian sources to find out anything about that because America was like, oh, Canada, duh, whatever. And then they just started looking at our obscure politicians. Yep. So some more ta- There's I'm a talking about like Ben Carson or somebody than about the actual leader of Canada. Yeah. Um, well, I'm, how many people at this chair? And I actually can't. Oh, right so now. Fugitive Games points out there's a captain's chair button that will take me back. So if I zoom into one of these things, uh, yeah, there's a captain's chair, and that brings me back. Oh, cool. Good to know. Whoa, uh, civilian rabies outbreak. What? I'm guessing none of us can name the president of Mexico. Uh, I, sur- I knew that at one point it was Vicente Fox, but I, it's not that, that anymore. And after that was Felipe Calderon. I did not and know that one. I do not remember the current president of Mexico's name, and I feel oh, bad about it. Oh, you're terrible people. I, now I feel like I just need to go and give myself a little uh, civics lesson every single day. Hey, hey, let's not hit this planet. How does that sound? Let's instead orbit this planet. He is the same party as Vicente Fox, whereas Felipe Calderon was part of a... Uh, like a reform party. Enrique Peña Nieto. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I did not know that one. Okay. He's the 57th president. Wow. That's a good number. Pilot Miner. Who's my best miner? Miner, 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 miner. Wait, I just set my best... Okay, my best miner was there. I guess Pilot what, there. what would be there more useful is if we knew anything about him. Right. <laughs> knowing the person's name. Well, that's... I have... have it's, I had, yeah, it's like knowing the date that a particular thing happened in history. It's like... But you need to know something about I had its cause and effects. I had return to the traditional part. Like, there's one party that's held the presidency in Mexico for, like, 50 years. Um, and there was a break with that party for the previous president, uh, Felipe Calderon, and this guy is back to being that same party that, that had run most of Mexico's history. Holy crap, this is really, really dense. Oh, no! Oh, no! Boom! Ah. Oh. But I got a lot of stuff. Some stuff, some stuff. Not quite as much of nitrogen as I wanted, but that's fine. Okay, well, that was cool. Let's, Interesting. Uh, let's send a shuttle team Only down. garnered a plurality of the vote. 39%. Yeah. Oh, wow. How many candidates were there? Welcome to the political Twitch three. stream. The Mexican political Twitch stream. Brought to you by Mexican politics. Uh, it's not as crazy as when Calderon was elected. Um, Mexico City, which is so big it's effectively a state there in terms of its political power. Yeah, it's like almost 20 million people yeah. in Mexico City. Did not um, didn't like accept his presidency. Hmm. Chance of success 67%. <clears throat> Let's go. Yeah. Successful. Okay, giant talking plant. Uh, gloved on commune. <laughs> Lost child. Oh, I can't decide very, between the giant, giant talking, talking plant, plant or the, or the glove don commune. I want to know what this to be a very special commune. episode of. We uh, we already did that that Into dragon cancer. We don't need to do lost child. Uh, Captain, we've come across a native plant that is beckoning us to come closer. It has a beautiful voice and speaks our language perfectly. <laughs> Should we speak with it? Whoa! What could go <laughs> wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> Who doesn't like to be beckoned? Yes. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you going closer? Yes, of course he well, is. Well, all right. No, the question is whether we're going closer or whether our lasers are going closer. She we... says it sounds like... What do you say? I don't trust this plant at a all. A trap. A trap. Okay, so it sounds like a trap. trap. Fire your lasers and destroy the f- fauna. Wait. Tacti- Ooh, wait. Oh, oh they, they're... Re- I don't think they know what flora and fauna are. No, wait. No, no, but if I destroy all the fauna, that will just... That's, they didn't do anything. 
Yeah. yeah. The fauna didn't do anything. I think they confused their flora with their fauna. No, I'm, but like, I feel bad. What if we kill a bunch of bunnies because I clicked no, this button? I think. I don't think we flora. can click. The, I don't I think, think we can click. Flora. It says fauna. I am. I am not clicking that button. I'm not murdering bunnies because I'm scared of then some plants. Then we're gonna walk up and talk. That would be plants. racist. And we are not. We are not. We are the non-racist federation. What? What? No, I don't know. That was just crazy. That, that was crazy. Um, so, fascinating. See what has to say to keep your distance. Who doesn't like to be beckoned? I think we should choose that. Who doesn't like to be beckoned? Me? Yes! Success! This one is a member of the royal family <laughs> on this planet. He's kind enough to offer something in exchange for a few items from our canteen. Shows you. I don't trust that plant. Warmonger. Protein. I can get a better protein sequencer that uses CO2 instead of BM? Yeah, we have lots of CO2. All right, let's, uh, sure, why not? Still uh, don't trust that plant. Yeah, too late. Probably gives a bad trusted. module. Oh, hey, the crew can be doing something. What can they be doing? We've actually got three minutes engine left fire. before we quit. Engine fire? What? Let's just leave that alone. Um, engine, there's my best engineer. Engines, right there. You go deal with that engine fire. And some rabies cases. Okay. So yeah, we are going to have to actually shut this down so we can go back to work. But this is a cool game, and I, I hope that, you know, even though I've been just ineptly, like, pawing my way through it and not really knowing what I'm doing, uh, some of the folks in the chat, uh, you know, I, I think might see a little bit more potential for them to, to make better use of this game than I have. So, you know, congrats, Fugitive Games, and, you know, making a really, really fascinating game, and uh, I wish you all the success in the world, and I hope that, uh, you, that you get the, 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 your listing on Twitch uh, uh, straightened out. So, okay, so Fugitive Games says those are the three main game mechanics. There's also trading with alien races, gas clouds, derelict ships, a bunch of other stuff to discover. So if we really had the time to spend, you know, unfortunately, Fugitive, we... Oh, wait, what's going on? City level increased? F to interact? Well, anyway. Public happiness is increased. You are great. I'm just sitting here. It just must have been my pretty face. It's Star Trek plus SimCity. <laughs> I guess so. Um... Uh, so Fugitive says, uh, Ian, hopefully I'll see you at a, at a Gunpla meetup. Yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. And uh, you, have to, you have to identify yourself to Ian. You know what he looks like. So uh, you'll have to track him down. Uh, basically, I'm saying, please stalk my coworker, is what I'm saying. Um, no. And I host the meetups, so it would be normal for Oh, it would be normal hi. to say hi? Okay, yeah. great. I didn't know anything about your meetups. So I'm going to save and quit. And then, so I've changed the, the, the plans for our Twitch stream for this week a little bit. Let's go into the stars. <laughs> Do you know the actual words? Is that the actual words? No. My love is on a Star Trek. What? Really? Yeah. That's There's words. That that's a real thing? This is good. But those words are bad. Yeah, the words are terrible.